I've been using LG's brand new V40 ThinQ smartphone for the last few days, and I've come away so far uh, pretty impressed. has a really sort of very premium looking glass back and it looks great, uh, but it is as with all, you know, phones with glass backs, a total fingerprint magnet. One thing in particular about this phone that is actually really, really impressive is how light it is. It's absolutely lighter than the Galaxy Note 9, which is a, you know, pretty hefty, you know, heavy phone. The LG V40 is just a really nice, light phone to hold and use. And just because it's light, again, it doesn't mean that it's not premium. The phone feels solid. One of the reasons I think the phone is so light is because the phone actually has a very small battery. The V40 has a 3300 milliamp hour battery. It's a little on the low side for a phone this big and this powerful. Battery life isn't superb, it's fine. It's not as good as the Note 9s. It has quick charge, which obviously is very useful. It has wireless charging, which is very useful. In true LG fashion, you know, this is LG's signature thing. They have a sort of high-end hi-fi amp inside the phone, which makes uh, audio sound a lot better through wired headphones. Now again, the key here is wired headphones. Yep, the LG V40 has a headphone jack. But the real reason this phone stands out, the, the biggest unique feature here is the cameras, all five of them to be exact. So that's three on the back and two on the front. One of the cameras is just a regular wide angle normal lens that almost every smartphone comes with. The other lens, uh, or one of the other lenses, is LG's sort of signature ultra wide angle lens. So that means it just captures a really wide version of what you're seeing. It's really good. It has less of that fisheye effect that we saw in previous LG phones. So it's actually a pretty great thing to have. And now, the third lens is, ta-da, it's a 2x zoom lens. Now LG is incorporating all those lenses into one phone and you don't have to choose anymore. So now for the front, we have two cameras like I mentioned earlier. One of them is, again, a normal wide angle lens that all selfie cameras are. And the other camera is also a ultra wide angle lens. So that means, you know, bigger, broader selfies with more people inside. This is a great move by LG for sure. And it's just including so many options and so much versatility in its phones and with the cameras. It's just something for everyone there. I've taken some test shots. This is nothing like definitive or anything, but I, it looks good to me. It looks really good to me. LG's cameras uh, on their smartphones have kind of always disappointed me in the past. One thing that the, uh, the triple lens system does, which is pretty cool, is you can take a photo with all three lenses at the same time. The photo quality on that sort of triple shot feature isn't great yet. Uh, I'm wondering if maybe it has to get, a, you know, a couple updates from LG to get it improved. But for now, it's kind of just blowing out lights. It's not setting the aperture correctly enough. And the photos don't look very good. Perhaps it's something LG can fix with a software update. Now here's another thing that's pretty impressive. Three cameras, no bump. Pretty uh, amazing there when you consider the other phones, like I don't know, iPhone, and this massive camera bump on the back. I've uh, been saying this word ThinQ along with the LG V40's name. So the ThinQ part is the sort of smart part of uh, the LG V40. And LG put the smarts into the camera. So it's what they call AI cam, so artificial intelligence cam. What it does is you point the camera at something and the camera sort of recognizes what you're pointing at. So you're pointing at flowers, for example, it'll say little little flowers icon on the bottom right of the, of, the, of the screen and it'll adjust the settings automatically for flowers. Does it work? Ah, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I took some uh, photos of flowers yesterday and it said flowers on, you know, on little but on the bottom right there of the screen and the flowers look terrible. Um, they look absolutely awful compared to the regular flower shot I took with sort of the auto mode of the phone. I think it's sure fine, but the auto mode on smartphones and, and the LG V40 is fine too. It takes great photos. Actually, I probably prefer just using the auto mode to be honest. So let's talk about software a little bit. LG, like a lot of other Smartphone makers, they put their own skins or layers of software, like kind of a user interface on top of Android. And uh, this one's pretty good. Usually I'm not a fan of LG's uh, sort of extra layer on top of Android, but this is pretty nice, pretty minimal. You do get a bunch of LG apps on there, but it's not too offensive really. 
turning the wheels inside the LG V40 Thin Q is a Snapdragon 845, and that means great performance. Uh, the phone just glides through my day, uh, has no problem switching through apps, and multitasking is not a problem either. It's a great performing phone. The V40 has an OLED display, and that means really, really nice colors, deep, deep blacks. It's just a really nice screen. It's sharp too, at 1440p. It's also one of the sort of taller displays with an aspect ratio of around 19 to nine, I believe. It's also a large screen at 6.4 inches. Now that's exactly the same size as the Galaxy Note 9. It's actually a smaller phone than the Galaxy Note 9, despite having the same screen size. Inescapable these days is the notch. I'm sorry, notch haters, the notch is here to stay. And it's fine, to be honest. Actually, it works quite well on Android phones. It means you can get the notification bar up there around the notch, and it's out of the way of your apps. The great thing about Android is you can kind of hide the notch, right? You can turn it off or turn the colors black. So it looks like just a notification bar up there. LG made a great phone with the V40 ThinQ. If you're getting tired of these really heavy phones, um, the LG V40 will totally cater to you. It's a really nice light phone to hold and use. It's especially appealing to audiophiles out there, um, or if you just like music, or if you use wired headphones. But the real reason this phone stands out, the the biggest unique feature here is the cameras. Do you like having a lot of options for the cameras? LG V40 is definitely for you. After moving from the Note 9 to the V40 is Google Home. <laughs> I have Google Home again when I swipe left, not Bixby Home.